Hey guys, I am JD Wolf and welcome to my XCOM 2 overview of the Grenadier abilities. The Grenadier is the strong one of the group, able to launch grenades from a quite a distance. Um, you can build the Grenadier as a demolitions expert or a heavy gunner. And I find that at lieutenant level, I kind of uh, branch off into the two different builds. So let's talk about it. The very first uh, ability that you get as a squaddy is launch grenade. You have a grenade launcher that will launch grenades and you get an additional grenade. Um, you can fire any grenades. You're going to get an additional shot on the grenade and um, an additional grenade can be equipped in a unique grenade only slot. So you get an extra slot for a grenade. So um, they have extra grenades they can fire from a long range. Very cool. Awesome. Corporal level, you have blast padding or shredder. Blast padding gives you a point of armor or so and 66% less damage from explosive attacks. And uh, what that does gives you armor. But what I find is that the grenadier is not on the front line, is actually shooting the grenades from a farther distance is not that close to the enemy that they get attacked the most. So I actually prefer Shredder. Cannon attacks shred armor, which is very important against guys that have armor. It'll shred off one point of armor, and more advanced cannons will shred more armor, and uh, which will allow your other guys to get in an attack on that target. So I find Shredder to be more useful whether you're building demolition or heavy gunner, that would be my recommendation. At sergeant level, we have demolition versus suppression. Demolition allows you to fire, uh, fire at the target's cover, destroy the target's cover, and but deal no damage to the target. It requires two points of ammo and has increased environmental damage. The other option is suppression. You fire a barrage that pins down the target, and if he tries to move, uh, you shoot at him. Uh, he also has a minus 50 penalty to aim, and that uh, aim penalty does stack with further suppression. It costs two points of armor, but it has no cooldown, and it will be canceled if um, if your grenadier gets gets hit. Um, I find that I have plenty of grenades, especially since I normally take two grenadiers. Uh, I have plenty of grenades to take out whatever cover needs to be taken out and I am not using this demolition ability hardly at all. Um, therefore I would recommend suppression if that is your playstyle also I would recommend suppression on all builds. Heavy ordnance, hollow targeting at lieutenant level. Heavy ordnance, the grenades in your grenade, grenade only slot gains a bonus use. So you got your grenade, you can carry a grenade then you have a grenade in your grenade only slot and then you get a bonus use for that grenade you're just building up your your uh, your amount of grenades uh, which is very cool all grenades are viable for heavy ordnance even non-offensive grenades like battle scanners and smoke grenades so you can oh that's cool you can launch a battle scanner way out i've not been using a lot of battle scanners but that's good to know hollow targeting any direct cannon attack hit or miss will mark the target plus 15 to hit um, suppression grants the hollow targeting and any cannon ability that targets multiple units will not grant hollow targeting which means you want your grenadier to fire first you want your grenadier to fire at uh, or you want your grenadier to fire at somebody that you've already seen you're gonna have a hard time hitting and you're not looking to destroy their cover and get them out in the open you just want to hit them you might want to have your grenadier fire first. Uh, I'd recommend heavy ordnance for your demolition and hollow targeting for your gunner. This is where they start branching off. Captain level, volatile mix and chain shot. This is where they really branch out. Volatile mix your grenades, increased radius, increased damage. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Though grenade damage is increased against enemy targets, there's no increase to the level of environmental damage that they do. Explosive damage is dealt equally across the entire explosive radius. Um, yes, this is this is true on uh, on the vanilla game. Anything in that radius is going to take that damage. It's not uh, diminishing damage as the blast goes out, like it was in Long War 
or uh, something like that. Chain shot. You take a shot with an aim penalty of minus 15. If you hit, you take another shot automatically. Um, it requires two ammo points as a three turn cooldown. It can be dev devastating against non cover enemies or when augmented with aim bonuses. Um, I find that it's like any heavy from the previous game, it's kind of hard to hit. If you have a minus 15 to hit, the odds of you actually hitting is going to be pretty low. Um, you're taking up all your ammo. Yeah, that's an ability for the chain gun for the heavy gunner. But even your heavy gunner has grenades, and I think volatile mix is useful for a demolition or heavy gunner build because I hardly ever use chain shot because of the minus 15. It's just so hard to hit, and it only you only get the second shot if you hit. At major level, salvo versus hail of bullets. Salvo, launching or throwing a grenade or using heavy weapons for your first action will not end your turn. So you can launch a grenade and then run back. Or launch a grenade and then do something else. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, prime candidates for heavy armor. So your heavy armor allows you to use your heavy weapons also which are on your heavy armor which you'll find out in the game um, you know rocket launcher or something or uh, stuff like that very cool uh, to have for your demolitions expert hail of bullets unused to hail unleash a hail of bullets that is guaranteed to hit your target but uses a lot of ammunition again you have a difficult time hitting uh, with with your heavy it's just a just a fact. Hail of bullets requires three ammo points. Basically, all your ammo on your on your basic gun, and a five turn cooldown. You can, you can't do it all the time, but if you need to do that damage, you can get and you can, just cannot hit him. You can do a hail of bullets and get a guaranteed hit. I'd recommend using this on anything that you have like a five percent chance <laughs> to hit, and uh, you really need to hit. And you really need to take that guy out, uh, and and uh, you know you get a guaranteed. That's just awesome. That is just awesome for your heavy gunner. So I pick salvo for demolitions and halo bullets for your heavy gunner. Saturation fire <clears throat> versus rupture. Uh, saturation fire fires a cone of bullets at, in the enemy area. In addition, the cover of those enemies can be damaged or destroyed it uses like all of your ammo again it has a five turn cooldown it's basically taking a standard shot at every enemy in the cone and will damage or destroy random cover elements in the cone um, the cone is kinda narrow so you need to line them up well but if you line them up correctly you will decimate the enemy with this uh, it's very very powerful uh, on the other hand you have rupture rupture shot deals critical damage and ensures the target takes an additional plus three from all attacks in the future requires all of your ammo and rupture targets take three additional damage from every attack um, ruptures nice you you've gotten in it's like hollow targeting where you've selected this guy and you, you decide to do a rupture shot against him and it'll do a crit it'll do a lot of damage to this guy and he'll be vulnerable if you got a really guy with a lot of hit points rupture is going to be really nice to have but at least in the early game at least in the early game saturation fire is devastating um, or the mid game um, because you're not going to have it in the early game because it's at kernel level but it's very um, Saturation fire. I, at this point, un, until I find uh, a real need for rupture, um, where the entire you know we get a big guy, and with all of our grenades and all of our stuff, there's nothing we can do to take him down. A rupture would have been so nice to have. Um, I'm I, my shift is all completely over on saturation fire for demolitions expert or heavy gunner. Demolitions experts, you know, both of these are gunfire, so. Um, 
I don't see that you know it does it really doesn't really doesn't matter so um, again saturation fire is my choice at that level your mileage may vary I hope you found this at least informative somewhat helpful if you did please like subscribe tell your friends and until next time stay safe <laughs>